What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven. This is Steven in Stereo and the hype is going to be so real for today's video because Big Bang is back with a boom. They are dropping or they have dropped the song Still Life. I'm stoked. Everything I've ever seen from this group has been so fucking high energy, so amazing. Again, pioneers of a lot of the sound that you hear today in these genres of music. So it's really cool to hear the blend um, that they do while at the same time a heavy emphasis on the hip hop and a very aggressive like approach to it. I feel like if you're ever feeling down, if you're ever feeling out, Big Bang is definitely a group to put on because you are going to be sweating by the end of it. So I'm really stoked to dive into this one. Uh, it already has 20, I'm just gonna say it, it already has 27 million views. At the time it has 26945340, but you know that that's gonna go up. And this has only been out for literally, this is day three. So when I talk about the impact that a band like this has, this is what I mean. So I'm ready to dive into this and uh, just get into the hype. <laughs> also, we're not even that far into this yet. Don't know where this is going to go. Big Bang is also a group that can fucking turn on a dime just like that and give you this beautiful, like, um, vocal moment that like comes out of nowhere so beautifully. So as much as I enjoyed my build up into this video talking about the hype, I also appreciate that a band like this has diversity that you just like can't ever, you can't ever put them in a box and expect anything because everything can change, you know, within 11 seconds. <laughs> The little pig. Wait. Is that a pig or is that a is that a goat? I can't tell. It's like so bright. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Wait, see, even right there. So listen to these beautiful vocals. I'm like so washed out because this fucking, this video is so bright. Let me see if I can move it. There we go. Um, There is something to be said about the ability for this band to take on these, you know, very beautiful vocal moments as we're hearing throughout this. You've got this very like, uh, almost like bright sort of sounding uh, instrumental and almost like a little bit of a ballad style. We're kind of getting into the groove there. But even with that, beautiful notes and everything, you start to hear that hip hop influence come out even just a little bit with the lyricism right here, that cadence switch up. To me, Artists like this, groups like this, definitely, I, I know that they're very popular. I get that. I don't think they get enough credit for the creativity that they have. Like, it's very hard to cross things over like that. So not only are they able to execute it, but to do it in a way that's so effortless that you know that, like, they just fucking live by this shit, and I love it. Hey. Space so if you pay attention to what is kind of going on in this you've got a rock instrumental right it's got um all of the all of the best moments of like sort of a, a classic rock ballad you've got these like really beautiful guitar notes the drums like the sound of the drums in my opinion is just like so moving 
while all of those things are happening, you've got this sort of like synthesizer kind of sound, kind of like creating atmosphere in the back. You've got so many vocal styles happening. And again, on top of all those things, a lyrical cadence definitely from the hip hop realm. To me, you can't just blend all of those things together, not just anybody, which is why when groups like this do it, it's just like, I can't shut up about it because it nothing ever feels forced. It all feels like it just happens so naturally that like, it, like if you were to tell them like, oh my God, I can't believe you guys did this. They'd be like, did what? Like, this is just like how we hear music and how we interpret it. It's fucking amazing. Good evening. a huge fan of David Bowie. I think I've made that pretty clear on this channel so many times. If the star man were still here, I would love for him to get a chance to hear this like full on Ziggy Stardust worship as you hear these la la la's coming in in this atmospheric sound with you know the the bunny here walking on a planet you got the planet you're definitely in space oh ziggy stardust would be proud oh my god Okay, I am going to put this out there and I'm going to regret it immediately because someone's going to take the idea, but I'm not creative enough to, or I guess I just, I don't know how to do it enough um, to be able to uh, put together what I would put together. But let me play you a sample if I were able to do it. Okay, I'm going to do my best to time this. Obviously, I'm not mashing this up. It's not actually um, something that I do, but... I want to try just to get you to hear where my nerdiness about this is coming from. So, all right, you ready? Like if somebody could blend those together to come off of that spot or actually any of this, because I mean, we've got multiple space moments and stuff, but just hearing that note drop. And then if somebody could just like, you know, master this a little bit. I just feel like I can hear the influence of some of the instrumental and, and some of the like visuals of those songs coming to life in this track. So you could call it still life on Mars because life on Mars and then still life, still life on Mars. I love it. I wish that Mr. Bowie was here to appreciate something like this. So I love this so much. Uh, one, because if you listen to my intro to this song, you already know what I was expecting to hear because what I kind of attribute to a lot of what I've heard from Big Bang is just absolute hype, destruction, like amazing, aggressive hype. So you could see to my surprise when we started and that is not what we were getting. And to me, that kind of change up is something that I appreciate so much in music because 
even though I want to hear what kind of what I expect to hear, I love to be blown away by artists like this who can on a dime change up that sound to incorporate what they are, you know, not necessarily known for, but kind of like what they've stapled as their characteristic in music at the same time, being able to incorporate a classic rock ballad, incorporate hip hop into that classic rock ballad, all while still keeping things fresh and natural to me, that that will stand the test of time because I do feel genres have existed a long time. Um, while they often, you know, morph a little bit and evolve a little bit, those genres are still those genres the majority of the time. Where I think the beauty and and the very unique moments are happening is that the evolution of all of these genres through various like blending and experimentation is going to lead to, you know, what music sounds like 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 30 years from now. We are hearing kind of like, you know, those moments coming to life, essentially. I think that Big Bang coming back and, you know, like setting themselves back into their career, putting themselves back on the map, not that they ever really left, but putting out new music for people to be hyped about. This is how you do it. You come out swinging 26 million views, almost 27 million right away while utilizing so many beautiful moments to showcase to people that have never heard your stuff before. Like me, I haven't heard enough to obviously know what I'm getting into with this band. This is such a good way to get people into it because you've got so much to like here. I I feel like this is a moment where it really showcases how beautiful the vocal styles are. I think to me that stands out more than anything just because though I've probably heard some of this, I haven't heard it like to this level. Um, and so to hear those deliveries happening while all this other shit that I'm nerding out about is happening to me is fucking incredible. So big bang is back. I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description. Not that they need it, but I'm gonna leave a link so you guys can go check out the original video. Also. Yeah. If somebody wants to make still life on Mars, do it, do it good though. Like give it some justice because, uh, you know, both of these songs are very beautiful and that David Bowie song um, is uh, a piece of treasure. So if you're going to use it, use it beautifully. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of Big Bang's um, newest era and what you're looking forward to in their career. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.